This was a pivotal time in the moving axis aircraft simulator experiment. I had to make a difficult decision. I remember the first time I saw this video clip. The machine is working more or less the way it's supposed to. However, as an observer on the outside looking at the simulator from this perspective, you really expect to see it tilt or roll from side to side. Well, that was a problem. You see, the very first Max prototypes actually did move in two axes. It moved in the pitch axis forward and back, but it also moved in the roll axis from side to side, left and right. I did not like the way it felt when we rolled from side to side because it felt like you were going to fall out of your seat. And you just don't feel like that when you're flying an airplane. When you turn an airplane in a coordinated turn, you don't find yourself leaning up against the door like you do when you're turning in a car. The airplane, the whole airplane is banked into the turn so you're actually pressed down into your seat. And that's something that you learn in the early stages of flight training. So rolling motion in a flight simulator doesn't feel accurate, but how important is that really? Uh, most people aren't pilots and they're not going to know or even care uh, if it doesn't feel 100% accurate. They just expect the thing to tilt a little bit from left and right regardless of how it feels. So this is a valid issue. Plus, something else happened around this same time, and it made me question what the whole goal of a motion flight simulator should be. Should the goal be realism, or should the goal be just to have an enjoyable experience? I took a friend and her uh, kids on a scenic flight over the city. Uh, the kids were excited. They were about 12 years old and 10 years old and they were excited because this was their first time flying in an airplane. It's two kids, a boy and a girl. It was the boy's birthday. The weather was good that morning. Uh, it was just a little bit bumpy, but not bad. Uh, it was a little bit warm, but again, not bad at all. So, so we took off, and just after a few minutes, one of the kids was, was feeling sick. He was feeling air sick, so I got out six sacks for everybody, and we turned back to the airport. Uh, I didn't have official air sickness bags, but I did have Ziplocs, like this one, which I thought was a great idea, because you can just seal it up after after you puke, right? Um, not, a, not a great idea, really, because they're clear. And after you do your business, uh, you get to see in vivid detail the former contents of your stomach. Both kids really like orange juice. Anyway, we landed, the kids were fine. After a drink of water and a breath mint, they're fine. Why do I even tell you this story? Because the experience those kids had was 100% real and 0% enjoyable. So at this point in the Max experiment, I said, screw it. I'm going to build a flight simulator that works in both the pitch axis and the roll axis, regardless of how I think it's supposed to feel. It's going to rock and roll. But there was another problem. I had been working on Max all summer. I had spent way too much time and way too much money already. And I had people, I had, I had stakeholders, supporters, who really needed to see some results. I felt that if I took Max back to the drawing board again, it would do serious harm to their morale. I felt like people would lose faith in the program if I went back to the drawing board again. So I went forward with Max with its existing control configuration, one moving axis. 
and I moved it to the next stage to bring it up out of the basements and out into the world.